Put up the UAB. Um, played a very good uh, uh, conference USA uh, team. Uh, they very well coached. Uh, got a good program. Uh, been to the playoffs. I mean, been to bowl games. Uh, three out of four like four years and won two of them. Uh, got a great defense. Been ranked in the top twenty last four years. Number five uh, last year. So we knew what we had. We knew, we knew what we was up against, uh, and uh, we wanted to try to stay competitive as long as we could. And that didn't that didn't last very long. And uh, we wanted to get out of the healthy. We did do that. So uh, uh, we went up. They played well, and we didn't play so well. And uh, the, the score showed that. So it was fifty nine to zero. Appreciate those comments, Coach. We'll now bit for questions for Coach Manor. First question goes to Dr. Cabill. Coach Manor, this is Dr. Cabill inside the HBC Sports Lab. You talked about uh, playing up FBS teams. In terms of your team, uh, did you see some individuals that were able to do some things that you'd like uh, that you can transfer with over to some uh, coaching for this week? Yeah, I thought uh, Zerion Hayes played good on uh, defense. Uh, I thought Terry played good on defense. Uh, we had a, uh, Elijah hit an interception off of a tip, made a great dive and catch uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, offensively, Brian Jenkins led us in receiving. Um, uh, the offensive line didn't play very well when they would run the ball. Uh, of course, running backs, they played good because they didn't have any blocking and, and the quarterbacks didn't execute at the level that we we're looking for. So um, not a lot of bright spots, uh, but uh, we did we did learn a little bit about our team. So we, we'll move on and get ready for Troy. Moving on, getting ready for Troy, another F, uh, FBS opponent, this one out of the Sun Belt. Um, when you talk about going from week one to week two, I'm sure there's some things that you want to see that should be an improvement. What are some of those things that you're looking for your team as they get into this match? Uh, number one, uh, taking care of the ball. We turned it over four times last week, and uh, they made a couple of good plays, and then we made a couple of bonehead plays. So we got to take care of the ball. Uh, you know, anytime you want to have a chance to win, you, you got to take care of the ball. And when you're playing up, you definitely have to take care of the football. So when you take care of the ball, and uh, we got to be more consistent on offense, uh, defense, uh, we got to limit the big plays, and we got to tackle better. Thank you, Coach Maynard. Good luck this week. You're welcome, Doc. See you, man. All right. Next question goes to Kendrick Marshall. Hey, Coach. Um, you started Quincy Casey um, in the game on this past week, and um, Langford got some time there late. Um, is that going to be the rotation going into Troy, having uh, Casey start and then going to Langford, or how would that work out for you? Uh, we might switch that rotation. Both of them guys will probably still play. We may go with uh, Langford first. Uh, we'll see how they practice this week. But we, we plan on playing both guys again. Okay. And um, follow-up question is, um, you, you play Troy and then follow up that up by playing Austin P. Um, what do you hope to learn about your team in these first three weeks playing against some kind of high-level competition? Everything. You know, our weaknesses, our strengths, what we do well, what we don't do well, what we need to work on, what we don't need to work on. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, the facts, HBCUs, uh, you know, we got to play Monday games because – we got to take care of our programs. And, you know, when you talk about football, basketball, they support other non-revenue sports. So uh, at the end of the day, we have to play these games uh, to help generate money. All right, thanks. Currently taking questions for Coach Maynard with Alabama a &M. Coach, obviously, you spoke uh, earlier about the improvements uh, that you would like to see defensively. Can you just kind of maybe take a little bit of deeper dive as, as far as what what areas you're you're hoping to see your team make some strides in over the next few weeks? All areas, um, run defense uh, again, uh, uh, pass defense, not giving up the big plays. Like I said, we did we did have an interception. We had a couple of tackles for losses. We need more of those. We've got to be more consistent in uh, getting off blocks, getting in the backfield, playing on the side of the ball, causing havoc, getting in the quarterback face, uh, getting in there, get some pressure on them, make them get the ball out a little faster. It's tough to do when you play up, 
but those are the things that we need to do. We need to work on uh, to become a great defense and a better defense. So, and then of course, tackle first game of the season uh, when you don't get hit a lot going into it, uh, you normally have some missed tackles. But that's part of the game. Everybody's human. You're not going to make all your tackles, but we got to sure up that tackle. Taking questions for Coach Maynard of Alabama a Any final questions for Coach? All right, we have a question from Kyle Mosley. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Uh, good morning. All right, what's your game plan for Troy, and how will you guys be able to change up some of the things on offense? Um, we're not, we're not going to change up too much. Uh, we're going to try to do what we do. You know, we just got to execute a little bit better, uh, try to put the guys in a little bit better situation. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it comes down to execution and, and uh, making the plays. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't do a very good job of that uh, last Thursday night. And uh, we got to do a better job. We had some drop balls. Uh, we had some guys lined up wrong. We had some missed miss assignments in, uh, on the offensive line. So we just got to clean it up. We moved the ball. We got some first downs, but uh, we just weren't consistent enough to sustain the drive and get the ball in the end zone. So uh, we just got to be a little bit more consistent, play one play at a time, and uh, finish plays. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, sir. Still taking questions for Coach Maynard with Alabama a Any final questions for Coach? Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Look forward to speaking with you next week. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you.